You know, the more you can help other people achieve their goals, it comes back to you twofold. By helping others, families, employees, our children, realize their passions, their dreams, that's where the true rewards really are. And at the end of the day, it goes without saying, uh, you know, dust to dust. We're not taking it with us, right? It's the legacy that we leave behind for those who follow. And hopefully we can leave the land, the community in better shape than we found it when we arrived. I am Janae Mexker. I'm Brian Mogler. I am Chet Mogler. I am Ross Mogler. Dwight Mogler. Howard Mogler. Howard Mogler. How long have you lived in this area, Howard? All my life. 85 years plus. My father started farming in the 50s, in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. My oldest brother expressed an interest in coming back to the farm. In fact, he always wanted to be a farmer. Spent a little time in the original sow farm, which dad used as a mechanism to provide us five sons an opportunity to come back to the farm. So that was 40 years ago, 41 to be exact, 1976 is uh, really the beginnings of our family's history in pork production. We all got a little bit of a taste of the uh, farm as we were growing up. Dad gave us responsibilities and we've kind of stayed with that tradition as we worked through the now the fourth and hopefully into the fifth and, and future generations. You know, I think for a lot of kids in rural America, you think the uh, opportunities lie somewhere outside of hometown, and uh, and I was I was a typical kid. Uh, I thought my future lied elsewhere, and so uh, off to college, off to explore the world, so to speak. I think they trust us because they grudgingly uh, bestowed it upon us. They haven't always trusted us. They haven't just said, "Here you go, take the farm and run it." It's been slowly given to us, uh, inch a rope at a time. Passion is the saying that you never feel like you work a day in your life, and really that is true. Working with our family with multiple generations, thats it, it talks about legacy. I am third generation, and it's taken a long time to build that, and so for me to be part of something and then for it to fail would be very disappointing, and so I want to, I want to extend the same opportunities to my children that I've had. It's a given fact that family businesses uh, do not have a history of, of surviving multiple generations. Our father has often told us, one generation makes it, the second generation maintains and lives on it, the third generation has no idea where it came from and they lose it. Why does that actually happen in family businesses? And uh, quite frankly, it comes down to a set of core values that you really need to pass on from one generation to the next. Integrity, uh, honesty, uh, doing what we say we're going to do and um, always remembering we have a customer that uh, is putting their trust in us. The relationships that we have with Hormel, with their people, it was pretty easy for us to realize that it's more than a piece of paper, it's more than something on the website. It is their values that they live, uh, it's the culture that they've built and, uh, and quite frankly Hormel is a family business. I mean, George A. Hormel, uh, not too many generations ago, started the business. My grandfather was very visionary, and so that's something that I believe he passed on to his children and then down to his grandchildren. Well, number one, I'm thankful, but I'm also thankful for a good Lord who's been good to us. We've had some hardships in our families. It's at some times we've really wondered why the blows, but we've been able to hold together and uh, that's been one of our strivings is that we peacefully move forward. And I hope that we can be an asset to the community, my family after I'm gone.